spicy, but it's not overwhelmingly spicy. But it definitely kicks you in the mouth, like wakes you up first thing in the morning. It's like Thai nasi caribou, almost, almost precisely. Plate of raw veggies with the nam prikapi to go with it, the chili paste. Oh. This is really food heaven right here in Krabi, in Krabi Town. Food heaven, this Krabi City Night Market. You have to come, you love food. We are here at Morning Market, Maharat the Morning Market. It's time for some action, so let's go. I saw this star here making the kanam jeans, a classic breakfast here in Grabi. It's the rice noodles and they pour a curry on top. She said this one's very spicy, so I'm excited for it. It's like, it smells amazing, it just smells so aromatic. There's minced fish in here, it's very peppery. Definitely smells spicy and funky. I'm all about it. And they give you all this fresh veggies to go with it. It's a whole just platter of fresh veggies you can put in. Herbs, basil, long beans, eggplant, cucumber. We have the thin rice noodles, top of curry. I'd say this one's very spicy, let's see. It smells spicy, it also smells incredibly flavorful. I smell the galango right away, very sharp flavor. Peppery, let's see. We do this a lot in the street, but we're really excited to have this in the market. Mmm. Whoa, that really kicks you in the mouth, in a good way. Mmm. <laughs> I love it. That is spicy. Spicy, but it's not overwhelmingly spicy. But it definitely kicks you in the mouth, like wakes you up first thing in the morning. I'm a little tired, kind of early for me, and I used to get up this early, but it woke me up. When? One. Now, this next spot is what we stumbled upon walking after having our first dish. It reminds me so much of Lai, Taro Leaves um, dish. Okay, here you go. Ooh, looks delicious. We're huge fans of veggies cooked in coconut milk. So when we saw this, we just stumbled on it, we had to get it. This looks delicious. I actually see pieces of fish in here too. Adds a whole nother layer. And we're big fans of this kind of dish. Got a bowl of rice to go with it too. Let's try it out. Ooh. Smells really Spicy. earthy. Ah. Mm. Ooh. That's a pretty complex flavor. So it's creamy. You really get that fish kick in there too. I really like that. It's not overwhelming. And it does have a little bit of spice on the back end. I can feel it in the back of my throat now. Mm. Greens have a slight bitterness to them too. Not overwhelming, but combine that all together, the creamy, spicy, slightly salty, bitter in a slight way. With that fish flavor, much more than what meets the eye when you first see it. It has that dried fish taste. Yeah, and then you mix it with your rice. Oh, it's another level of deliciousness. Grandma making it, mm, which is so sweet. Yeah. She keeps smiling. And this is like a grandma, it's like a, this food tastes like a grandmother made it for sure. It's got that soulful, slow cook with love flavor to it. Yeah, true. Even market like this too. You just stroll around all the different, basically aisles. We just stroll through all the aisles of vendors here. This is part wet market, part prepared food market.
Ooh, stink beans. One of our favorite Thai dishes, period, it's homok. The steamed fish, kind of like a custard, is steamed and wrapped in banana leaves. And this one's got a really nice yellow color. It's very soft, this one. It reminds us a lot of what we eat in Malaysia a lot that we love, otak otak. It's almost like a Thai version of that. Or you can also say that otak otak is the Malaysia version of homok, whatever you want to say. The beauty of this, that yellow color is just so soft. I, I can't even help it anymore. I gotta take a bite. Whoa. This. We've had a few different homok here in, in Grabby Town, but this one is really my favorite so far because the flavors really explode from that first bite. Like you really taste that turmeric, taste that lemongrass, you get some chili, lime leaves. You see the actual shreds of lime leaves in here. Galangos, there's so much going on in here. It packs so much flavor in such a little bite. Mm. You know, it's very soft. There are pieces of the fish in there as well. So it's like a puree, but there's also chunks of the fish, which I really like. I really appreciate that texture. Mm. I think I'm taking one of this to go. Yeah. The Mahara Morning Market is the largest of its kind in Southern Thailand. You see this, it's huge. So you have part wet market, so fruits, veggies, meats, seafood, and you have prepared food section as well. Awesome must visit here in Grabby Town. This is definitely a place, we got up early enough every day. If we were early risers, we would probably come here every morning for breakfast. That's how cool it is. And we came a little later, so some of the stalls were finished, but we still got ourselves a delicious breakfast here. And another beauty, you could always come here and get a different meal every morning. That's how many vendors there are. You can even come if you have your own apartment, kitchen, you can come and get all the ingredients and make your own meal too. It's the Krabi City Market. It opens in the afternoon until nighttime. They say it's a night market, but you could actually get there a little earlier too. This stall right here is a real gem. It's a rice and curry stall. You walk right in, you can't miss it. It's serving halal Thai food. It's a big spread of about 10, 12 different curries. You can get it over rice. You get two curries over rice for 50 baht, which is unbelievable. And they also give you this beautiful raw veggie set right here. You get the long beans, cucumber, greens, and you get the nam prik um, chili dip right here. Oh, man, it's, it's really hard to choose what to get. Uh, been here, this actually the third or fourth trip here already is how much we love this place. A nice lineup of dishes. We have mm. the kwakling, which is the minced chicken with all these different spices like a dry curry. We have a fried fish. And I have my liver, egg dried fish and curry, turmeric. So they don't give you the names of what the dishes are, you just gotta look at them. A few we knew already just from eating around here before. And we also have this stingray curry, which looks amazing. We've actually got it on the side. It's an extra. Krabi City Night Market. And it really opens up. This stall actually opens up at one o'clock, we asked. It. it depends, they run, when they run out of food, they run out of food. Mm. Mm. It smells absolutely incredible. A quackling is amazing, a minced chicken. There's so many shreds of lime leaves in here. Got a real kick to it, but not overly spicy. It pairs perfectly with that rice. I mean, kwakling really is one of my favorite Thai dishes, period. It's really popular here in South Thailand. It is amazing. Mm. Now let's try this thing right. Mmm. They cleaned this one very well. Yeah, I just had a bite, no ammonia taste. 
Very soft and tender, really well prepared. The gravy's interesting, it's like a brownish gravy, fried turmeric, nice chili flavor, yeah, nice chili kick in there. Pineapple. More veggies and we have pineapple. We have more veggies. Ooh. Right. Looks nice. That's good. weak. Come on. Come, on. Come, come on. come on. come on. Come mm. on. It's really interesting. I'm very excited to try it. It looks, in a way, it looks a lot like nasi karbu we had in Malaysia. There's a lot of shredded herbs in here mixed with the rice. Long beans. Let's see. It even has a kind of aroma. Mmm. Very similar. It's like Thai nasi caribou, almost, almost precisely. This one has a stronger lime leaf taste. You really get that raw, fresh vegetable mixed with the rice. So you get that crunchiness of the long beans, red onions, and you get that freshness of the herbs. This is amazing. I'm so glad she pointed it out for us. Nasi caribou is a dish that's very famous in the northeast state, Malaysia, the state of Kelantan, which is the border of Thailand. So we cross the border in Naratiwa, Thailand, South Thailand. For a little further east of here. This dish I'll come back over and over again for it, for sure. Look at this market is just full of amazing food. There's only two stops in. I could already declare it. Like, favorite, maybe one of my favorite markets ever. For the amount of food here, for the variety, flavor, it's excellent. Even if it's only a few stalls, just what each stall is offering is incredible. Trasimus biryani, it's a very yellow color. It smells quite cinnamony, clovey, like I would think uh, biryani is. Clovey, I guess is a new word, right? Mm. It's good. Different than other biryani we tried. Definitely not the Indian style biryani. Closer to Malay style biryani we had in Batu Pahat Johor, but still different and unique in its own way. It has a kind of sweetness to it, but nice. Especially like with that beef. The beef pair is really nicely with it. I like the biryani, but I'm telling you, I'm really digging this kayam. This is like, I'm so happy that we found this. Another rice and curry stall. Actually right down from the first one we tried. We walked around the market a little bit and this one's got a whole different variety of curry. I only saw maybe one or two that were similar to the first stop, which is amazing. So you have two spots here that have maybe 20 to 30 curries in total you could choose from. Crazy choices, really hard to choose actually. And then narrowed down just to two. So that's how much room we have left for now. So yeah, one was the chicken curry. It's dry, but it has chopped up long beans, and it has one of my favorites, stink beans, aka satur, aka patai, aka deliciousness. <laughs> we also have this beef curry here. So we we'll switched up a little bit. We haven't had beef. Uh, it's a looks like a wetter curry. And it comes with these little baby green eggplant. Really interesting. Let's give that a shot. I'm almost full, so I'm just gonna watch him eat it. It looks delicious. Oh, it's good. Mmm. The baby eggplant is really interesting. It gives it kind of a bitter taste. It's crunchy. It does look like a pea, though. Yeah, I'm really digging on this beef curry. So it's got that nice like, coconut milk, slightly sweet flavor of the beef. You counteract that with that crunchy, slightly bitter baby eggplant. Nice dish. What I came here for is this chicken with the stink beans. I'm a stink bean fanatic. It pairs nicely with the tender chicken. And it's even more crunchy. It looks more vegetables. The chopped long beans, you have, you have vegetables everywhere. We've got another plate of raw veggies with the non prick coffee to go with it. The chili paste. Oh. This is really food heaven right here in Krabi, in Krabi Town. Food heaven this Krabi City Night Market. You have to come. You love food. 
food like this, come here.